We've had a really good long-term relationship with the Parks and Trails Council of Minnesota. One of their board members has taken a class at St. Thomas. I had the good fortune to meet Professor Laura in a series of lectures that he gave. I explained to him uh, what we were doing and how it related uh, to the things that he had talked about. And the more we talked about what Parks and Trails Council did, um, the more he thought it would be uh, an ideal opportunity for an intern. Here at Parks and Trails, we do things like acquire land on behalf of our public partners. We work at the legislature advocating for investments in Parks and Trails. One of the big things that we've had to do is to show the statewide impact that our projects would have, and that's been a big part of the work that um, Sarah McNamara, our current intern, has been doing, documenting where the projects are that we're proposing and the economic impact that these projects will have for local communities. I have an internship at the Parks and Trails Council. Um, uh, it's really cool. I meet with them like three times a week. I come in here and they tell me the projects they're working on, different proposals they're making, the meetings they're going into, and then some of the maps that they think will help them get um, you know, good visuals for proposing a project. I thought I wasn't going to know enough about how to get data, how to make maps, you know. Um, but once I started and just got into it, you know, you start looking around, you find so much more that you didn't know before. but. It was really easy, I think I was like well prepared for it and it was a good transition I think into more like the real world kind of stuff that I would be doing so. In terms of geography or GIS at least, I'm a super visual person and like I, I think I learn a lot more when I'm seeing something and so I guess within geography too I learn so much spatially like you know where things are and where people live and everything like that it helps a lot. The St. Thomas interns have helped us really be able to show that and tell that story and we've been able to use it with donors, we've been able to use it at events when we're talking about membership and we've been able to use it at the legislature when we're trying to make our case for you know increased investments in parks and trails. Parks and trails was the biggest sort of doing something for somebody else. I mean it was through St. Thomas Connection but I was their intern, like I worked for them as much as I worked here and it was a really new experience sort of being responsible in a different way for my GIS work than I ever was before. What I ended up doing that they found was really exciting was, you know, I think the first thing we did was William O'Brien State Park. There's sections of land that they either helped get added to the park or were in progress and actually parcel it out into parcels. It's been an incredible experience working with the University of St. Thomas interns. You know, I think that we've had three incredible, talented, students working for us. If everybody's like this at the University of St. Thomas, wow, what a school. The internships with them, they've learned a lot. They've been involved with a really effective organization that's changing the landscape in Minnesota, so that's been really fun. And they bring a set of, of, of talents and skills to the table that Parks and Trails just didn't have. Our capacity has been greatly enhanced because of the work that University of St. Thomas students have done. What I do now is I do some GIS work and data analysis and really interesting stuff for St. Paul water, basically. And I didn't know that job existed when I started college. Had I not gone through geography department here, I would never have had the job that I have right now and I really like it.